אבל הם לא יודעים לך את זה The uh, relevance of uh, textiles to the Israeli art scene is, uh, is quite significant. First of all, there are plenty of contemporary artists who are working in various ways of textiles, so it was very difficult to select. The first department of the Bezalel School, uh, which was opened in Jerusalem in 1906, is considered the date of the establishment of Israeli art. Uh, it was the department of carpets and, and, and rugs, uh, but that was all traditional stuff. But in the new Bezalel, which was a school that was opened in 1935, uh, with the influence of the Bauhaus, there was also a new uh, weaving department that, was, that started in 1940 by Julia Kainer, who was a graduate of the Bauhaus, and it was really following the Bauhaus uh, weaving department. Choosing the local artist was indeed uh, not so easy. I, I selected uh, one artist who is of the younger generation, Gilia Vissar, who, whose work in textile is, of course, uh, not only beautiful, but this is the medium of the artist. He's painting and drawing with textiles. For instance, Ilana Ravek, who is uh, almost 80, and she's uh, from Beersheba, so she's very local, if you like, but she, also one of her pieces is in our collection. And she's working in a more or less traditional modern textile arts. Her images were about the Negev, uh, uh, the, the history, the archaeology, the climate. So it was part of the concept of the exhibition in its locality. Then Abu Melchen, who is a, a Palestinian Israeli artist from, from the north, and she's working in, on and with textiles as a major part of her work. Uh, since the 1990s, with a strong relevance to the history of the Palestinian people by um, combining uh, Palestinian embroideries. She is referring to her own tradition. She's not embroidering herself, but she's taking embroidery as part of her work and, and creating uh, things that uh, are uh, alluding to the history of her people uh, with tex textile, but in a very contemporary way the word of Varda Getzo, who is an Israeli artist who lives in Berlin for many years and, uh, and, and she works in, in, in Germany and Israel and is also uh, interested in the tragedy of the Jewish people, the Holocaust, in, in way of um, creating some sort of memory. The garments are, is actually a, a testimony of the absence so it was all like clothes of, of babies who are not there. The story how they are the clothing piece is a testimony or a memory of, of tragedy of the past, of the history and the, and the loss and absence. And the last one is uh, um, of the five artists that I selected is uh, Katja Euchermann, who is uh, telling a different story through the traditional embroidery of Jewish uh, ritual object. So she refers to a tradition, in Jewish tradition of embroidery, creating a work that is based on something that was made in Germany in the 19th century about the, uh, the boys who were born. The women embroider, uh, do this embroidery from a piece of cloth of the baby's uh, nappies, uh, of, the, of the Brit Mila, of the, uh, of the circumcision, and then give it to the synagogue to wrap and tie the Torah scroll during the use. And of course it's only boys, because only boys are circumcised, so girls are totally absent. So what Katya was doing, she's doing something very similar to this, only of women in her family, of her um, grandmother and herself. And she's telling the story of how her Jewishness was in doubt. There were people immigrating from uh, Russia in, uh, in the 1990s, and there were plenty of issues of uh, misinformation and uh, false documents. And even her date of birth was written as zero zero, as if people didn't know when she was born. Somehow introduces both the gender, the, the, the national issue, the, the religious issue, the, uh, the uh, craft tradition of Jewish rituals and immigration, all these together. I tried in, with five artists to cover not only artistic issues, but many issues about Israeli society that, that uh, I, I mentioned in this description.